Hi guys, how you doing? Oz here from the English Martial Arts Channel. Uh, today what I'm going to show you is how I modify the Night Shop Rawlings Range Basket Hilt Swords. Um, we'll talk a little bit about them first. This is, this is one of their, their standard single hand, it's got a complex hilt on it. These are, as, a, as an entry level weapon, these are great. Uh, very cheap, they give you a, a, a decent bit of hand protection, they allow you to get involved in some of the styles of HEMA that I'm involved in at a really cheap entry point. Um, one of the downsides is that the blades do tend to take a set, as you can see this one's got a bit of a bend to it. And one of the other downsides is that they're really quite short. Um, the single handers are I think 31 inches, could be wrong, but either way, if you're like me, in the region of six foot, this is a really short blade. Um, what you can do, however, is take uh, the long sword blades and modify them. Obviously, you can see they're arranged; uh, uh, they're available in a, a whole range of different colours um, because that's important. Um, but you can see here that these two are definitely not the same length, and this is a much more reasonable length sword for somebody of my, my stature. So if you, like me, find the Rawlings range are relatively small, this is going to be of interest to you. So, what we've got here are all the bits we need. So what you need to buy is you need to buy one of their long sword blades. Uh, these are all come apart, they're modular, so that if a bit breaks you can just replace that bit. Another really big point in their favour. So we've got our long sword blade. We need a long sword grip. That's quite important. A standard grip will fit the short, the single hand grip will go on the the, the handle, but they do have a tendency to, to split. Um, there's a little seam inside them, and that's where they tend to tear. You need one of the pommels and one of the baskets. Some people use the the larger pommels to change the balance of the sword. It's entirely down to you. As long as you've got a basket and you've got a pommel, you've got a grip and you've got a blade, and you have a hacksaw then you're good to go. So let's get to it. So I'm, I'm here at the kitchen table. I've got everything I need to do this. I've got my new longsword blade here. I've got uh, an old single hand blade here, an old uh, backsword blade. You can see this one's cracked. Um, this is a relatively common fault with them, but it doesn't actually make the swords any worse. You can still use this because this metal reinforcing rod that forms the screw thread for the pommel actually runs quite a long way up into the blade to give it some stability. So it's not actually significantly weaker with that. And, you know, these blades are going to fail. They're cheap. That's why we use them. They're a nice easy way to get it. So this is going to be our template. We've got a tape measure, uh, just in case we need it. We probably won't need to. You can do this by measurement alone. Uh, but it's much easier if you've got a template to go for. So I've got a pencil so I can mark, and I've got my hacksaw, so we're going to get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay one blade on top of the other, as so, and I'm going to use the, the shorter blade, the tang here, and this screw thread as a guide. Now what I need to do is make sure that the shoulders of the blade are perfectly aligned. And then all we do is we just make a little mark here on the tang at the end of the screw thread. Now, this is important because this bit, is, this is where we're going to cut the tang off completely. You can see the long sword tang is significantly longer than the single handed, as you would expect. So no big surprise there. So that's where we're going to cut it. We're going to cut through the, the synthetic material, the plastic, and we're going to cut through the metal right bar inside. So with our hacksaw, we're simply just going to start off with a couple of nice slow, gentle cuts, and as the saw begins to bite, we can use that to guide it all the way around. Now you'll feel, this is quite important, as you're cutting away through this, you'll feel a point where the, the saw changes. You might feel it, you might hear it. Um, just, just that note changes. At the moment we're just cutting nicely through the plastic and it's eating over. There you go. You can, see straight, you can feel that and you can hear it. That, what that means is the blade has now got to the metal bar inside. And that's important. We're going to need that later. But for now, we're just going to keep going on. So we're going to rotate this round a little bit. And we're going to cut straight through the bar.
Right, so we've cut the end off and you can see inside that this metal rod runs up through the middle. We've cut through the rod and the plastic and now these two are exactly the same length. However, there's no screw thread for the pommel to attach onto. So the next thing we need to do is we realign the blades and we get them back in position and we make sure the shoulders are lined up and then we just make a little mark at the end of the existing material on yeah, so what we're going to do now is remove that section. I mentioned earlier that it was important that we listened out for that change in note when the saw hit the metal. And that's what we need to be listening out for this time, because what we don't want is to inadvertently cut through that screw thread, because if we do that, we'll have ruined this. So this is where we need to be a little bit more careful. So again, we start off nice and slowly. Just get the hacksaw started, allow it to bite, and really take your time with this. So now you'll see that I've cut all the way around and we're just now, because the cut's clean, we should now be able to simply unscrew this bit of the sword. These are made, I believe, at least they, they originally were, I'm assuming they still are, made by a three-point injection mould. And that is where the, the material for the, the blade, the synthetic material, is injected in under pressure as a liquid around the metal bar that forms the rigidity of the, the sword and also the screw thread. Um, so that means that as it sets, the, the bar inside forms a screw thread on the inside of the nylon. It's quite interesting, it means you can just unscrew it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble it and see if we've got this right. So we're going to put our, our hilt on, we're going to push our grip on, and we're going to use this to slide it up. And you can see the screw thread's just starting to come through now. There we go. And we're going to screw the pommel in place. Nice and tight. And there we have a single hand grip on a long sword.